this video, we are going to talk a little bit about source code. Uh, what source code is, where you'll see it, and how the computer makes sense of it. Source code itself is the actual text document that a programmer creates. They type it up, it's letters, it's numbers, it's symbols. If you give that to somebody and have them look at that on their computer, that's not going to run their email, that's not going to be a web browser, that's just a text document, really. Um, now the computer has to have a way of interpreting that and making something really powerful run from it. There are two main ways this is done, either an interpreter or a compiler. Now in every internet browser that works has an interpreter, so JavaScript is run through an interpreter to make sense. Other languages like C++ are used with a compiler. Now that's Unlike an interpreter, the compiler does all of its work on the programmer's end. So they send out their package, their, their product, and it's already been compiled. It can already run on a machine. Whereas JavaScript and interpreter languages, you just write the JavaScript, you don't compile it or anything, and the computer itself, the browser, has a technology to interpret that and make something happen there. Now, there are arguments this way and that. Everybody has an opinion about which is better, and really it's a case-by-case -case basis. Compiling languages and interpreting languages are better at different things. Uh, as you know, Free Code Camp, we do focus on interpreter language of JavaScript. I also want to talk a little bit about what open source means, just because it kind of fits in the language here. Source code, open source. Free Code Camp is open source, as are a lot of really awesome projects. What open source means is that all of their documentation, all of their source code, is open and accessible. Uh, now, you may be thinking, okay, so what? <laughs> but what's awesome about that is if you have something you want to change about Free Code Camp or some way you think it could be improved, write that improvement in and send it to us at Free Code Camp and maybe get it implemented. It's a great way to see programs grow and websites and products grow in a really really strong and fast way because there are so many people constantly seeing it and seeing how it can be improved. The one thing that is kind of an unspoken rule with open source is if you're going to take something and improve it for yourself, even if it's a piece of software that you can download, generally you want to give that back to the community. Uh, give that improvement to everyone else so that they can use it too.